is Joseph Barrow, USA Lifetime Star Reporter Junior King. And today we are going to Nobles in my hometown, Dr. Phillips. And let's get to it. Joseph Barrow, USA Lifetime Star Reporter Junior King. I'm 11 years old, and today we are here with Lucas. So, Lucas, please tell us about yourself. Like, what do you do here at Barnes & Nobles? Uh, well, right now, I'm putting the books from the cart onto the shelves uh, and helping people uh, find books that they need because I know where all the books are here. Nice. Uh, do you know where Harry Potter books are? I do. We have a whole table for Harry Potter, and they're over there, and there are also some Harry Potter in the kids' section. All right. Um, is there any way we can find you on social media? Yeah, I'm on Facebook. And I have Snapchat. All right. Anyways, that is for all today. Thank you, and stay on the flip side. You say thank you to Lucas. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> now you need to say thank you in the end of the the, the video, my love. So Lucas, do you do in Hilo uh, with Lucas in the start? But you need to finish correct, okay? I'm sorry. One more time. Okay. <laughs> no film on my no. Okay, no, just so take photo. Oh. <laughs> Hello, my name is Joseph Ribeiro, USA Lifetime Star Reporter Junior King. I'm 11 years old, and today we are with Lucas. What inspired you to work here at Barnes & Noble? Uh, well, I love reading, and I love books, uh, and I needed a job, so I decided <laughs> I was going to work at Barnes & Noble. Alright, uh, is there any way we can find you on social media? Yeah, I have uh, Facebook and Twitter. Um, what do you do here at Barnes & Noble? Uh, I put the books on the shelves. I kind of, I kind of do everything. I help people find books. Uh, I put books where they're supposed to be. Uh, I help, uh, you know, with everything that needs to be done. We have a whole section in the back that has boxes stacked up real high, and I have to open the boxes and climb on top of the boxes. All right. Anyways, thank you for your time, and thank you for watching. Stay on the flip side and stay frosty. Stay frosty. All right. All right. <laughs> Hello, my name is Joseph Barbaro, USA Lifetime Star Reporter, Junior King, and today we are with Annabelle. Annabelle, please tell us about yourself. Um, uh, well, I am 17 years old. Um, I've been working here for almost a year, and um, I'm going to be a senior at Olympia High School. Olympia High School? Yes, sir. Um, what inspired you to work here? Um, well, I wanted to work here since I was eight years old. So I, 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 uh, I, I don't know, I just, there's something about being in a bookstore that I love. I love the smell of it, you know, the experience. <laughs> um, what do you do here at Barnes & Nobles? Um, well, I help people like you. Uh, I don't usually get interviewed, so uh, this is kind of new. Um, but uh, yeah, I help, I talk to people, I, I check them out, you know. All right. All that jazz. Um, anyway, can we find you on social media? Yes, you can. Um, I have an Instagram at Annabella01. So, uh, and then also Twitter, but Instagram's the main one. All right. Anyways, thank you for your time watching, and thank you for your time. Thank you. Stay on the flip side and stay frosty. Stay frosty. Hello, my name is Jessica Girl, USA Lifetime Star Reporter, and today we are here at Galette La Carrière. One of my favorite ice cream stores, and today we are here with Bernie. So, can you please tell us about yourself? Uh, well, I have a good start for our Thank you for your time and thank you for watching. Stay on the flip side and stay positive. Thank you.
Hello, I am Joseph Ribeiro here at the YMCA and Dr. Phillips here at the Wellness Center. I am a Junior King. I am a USA Lifetime Star Reporter, 11 years old. And today we are with Giovanna. Hello. So Giovanna, what do you do here at the YMCA? Uh, so I'm a personal trainer here. Uh, I've been here for five months, so I'm relatively new to the YMCA, Dr. Phillips. It's a lovely facility, so I help people with their fitness goals. Um, get them oriented with the fitness, uh, the wellness, the gym, the equipment, so that they're comfortable and they're able to, you know, adopt this healthy lifestyle. What would you like to be besides a personal trainer? So, I'm actually going to school for physical therapy, so oh. I'll be a physical therapist, helping people with their injuries, getting them back to their normal day, so that's what I'll be doing, and that's what I want to do, um, other than being a personal trainer. What inspired you to be a personal trainer? I'd say uh, prior to this job, I worked in a hospital, in an outpatient clinic of physical therapy. So the people there inspired me to become a, uh, more involved in the fitness industry. So I got my personal training certification because of them. And, uh, you know, in more regards, I went to, I applied to physical therapy school in order to be a physical therapist because of them. Wow. Anyways, stand the flip side. Hello, I am Joseph Ribeiro here at the YMCA, and today I am with Mr. Paul. So, Mr. Paul, hey please tell us uh, about what you do here at the Y. Well, my name is Paul, and I am the senior membership director here at the Dr. Ghost YMCA. Um, I am in charge of membership, so I bring in new people uh, into our beautiful YMCA. I explain our mission, I explain our cause, I explain our voice. And um, we have wonderful young men and women that come here and, and take part in our, our programs and activities. So, Mr. Paul, what would you like to be besides, uh, I guess, a CEO? Yeah, maybe someday a CEO. Maybe not here in this state, but maybe somewhere else. But if the opportunity presents itself, I'd love that. Wow. So what inspired you to work at the Y? Wow. The YMCA helped me um, in my own fitness, and um, it helped me when I was trying to lose weight. It helped my family, and I took swim lessons here at the Y as a kid. And so I wanted to give back to the community and figure out ways to help the community. So that's why I came to the Y. All right. Thank you, Mr. Paul, for your time, and stay frosty and stay Hello, my name is Joseph Robero, USA Lifetime Star Reporter, age 11 years old. And today we are here at my hometown in Victory Martial Arts. My name is Justin Barrow, USA Lifetime Star Reporter, Junior King. And today we are with Mrs. Hennessy, the director here at Victory Martial Arts. Uh, Mrs. Hennessy, what inspired you to get in Victory? Well, uh, I originally started 21 years ago when my daughter was four years old and I just wanted to help her out because she was getting bullied at school. I wanted to make sure she could defend herself and stand up for herself. So that's right. what started me. Uh, did you sort of like stumble in or how did you see your daughter getting bullied? Did he tell you about it? Or? I, I got told by the teacher at preschool that there was a kid picking on her and I wanted to make sure that she could stand up to him. Uh, okay, um, could you tell us about yourself? Uh, well, uh, I'm 55 years old. I've been doing Victory Martial Arts for 21 years. I'm a fifth degree black belt and nothing better than doing what you love and getting paid for it. Alright, uh, where can we find you on social media? I'm on Facebook sometimes, and that's about it. I do have an Instagram account that I use very rarely. That's about it for me as far as uh, social media goes. All right. Uh, thank you for watching, and thank you for your time. And stay on the flip side and stay fast. Hello, my name is Joseph Rivera, USA Lifetime Star Reporter, Junior King, and today we are with Mr. Hernandez. Um, Mr. Hernandez, what inspired you to be an instructor? Uh, to my past instructors were really awesome in teaching martial arts with me, and they taught me so many life lessons, and I just wanted to inspire more students the same way they inspired me. Uh, did you sort of like stumble in here, or did someone like ask you? Were you ready? I had uh, Mr. McGee, who's also instructed here. We were we're best friends, and uh, when I first met him, he, I knew that he did this, and he told me, "Hey, you should come try it out." And we started training together, and now I'm working here with him. Good. Uh, where can we find you on social media? You can follow the school Victory Dr. Phillips on Facebook. All right. Uh, 
Anyways, then flip side and stay frosty. My name is Josie Cabrera, USA Lifetime Star Reporter, and today we are with Mr. Taylor. Hello, so, all. Mr. Taylor, please tell us about yourself. Absolutely. So, yeah, my name is uh, Mr. Taylor. I'm a fourth degree black belt. I've been training in martial arts for about 20 years now. Uh, my favorite part of my job is getting to work with amazing young students like this uh, this young man here. Uh, yeah. Mr. Taylor, what inspired you to be an instructor here? Uh, so, uh, yeah, so I, again, I started martial arts when I was six years old. Uh, I walked past the store called Blockbuster. Those aren't really around anymore, but I saw the class from outside. Um, and then I walked in and got to do my first class, and the rest is really history. Uh, did you sort of like stumble in? You saw it, you got inspired. And yeah, so yeah, so I walked by and I saw the class going on. Um, you, know, you know Master Von Schmel, and he was my first instructor. He did my first class, and um, I love him so much. Alright, uh, where can we find you on social media? Yeah, so, so on social media we're on Facebook. If you look up Victory Dr. Phillips, um, we'd love to, to have as many likes as we can. Alright, and thank you for watching and thank you for your time. I had a great time working on this project. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.